All right, uh, welcome back, everybody. You know, the big game is right around the corner. The big game. But there's a different kind of tailgating happening on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, have you all heard of the Puppy Bowl? Well, what it is is it features adoptable rescue dogs from around the country competing for the famous Lombarki Trophy. You know, Lombardi, Lombarki, just go along with it. But you know, but you know how the puppies get drafted to play in the Puppy Bowl? Well, you're about to meet an amazing family who is part of that process. Please welcome Chris Mancho, eight-year-old Diego, and their pups to the show. Hey, uh, Christy, so who do we have here? Well, today we brought four of our most recent rescues. I have the lovely Miss Azul. Um, we rescued Azul off the streets of Mexico a little over a month ago. She was begging to survive outside a restaurant. And you want to tell them who you have, Diego? I have Brutus. Um, we found him. Um, <laughs> Brutus likes the microphone. <laughs> um, I, we found him at a shelter in Fresno. Yeah, on the day he was born. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and I have here Cindy Lou. Also, she's from Mexico. She came to our clinic uh, hairless. It didn't look like this when we first rescued her. And she stayed in our rescue center in Mexico for a couple months until the hair grew back. And then she migrated to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And um, this one is Betty, the sister of Brutus. Oh, okay. So this is great. So all of these puppies were rescued by your organization, <laughs> Compassion Without Borders. Yeah. Okay, how, how does your organization work? So Compassion Without Borders is all about bringing brighter futures to animals in need, like these guys here, on both sides of the border. And we do that by rescuing them when they're homeless and they need help. And we also do that by trying to prevent them from being homeless, by providing access to care, veterinary care and spay neuter to low-income, underserved communities on both sides of the border. Wow. So, Diego, what, what's your favorite part about rescuing animals? Well, um, I love that we can just save their lives and give them another chance. Yeah. Uh, Mancho, how many dogs would you say that you've rescued and adopted? Uh, we are being rescued. We, we created the organization 17 years ago, um, probably over 5,000. Really? Yeah. That's really good. Now, Christy, this year, the Puppy Bowl features the first ever international rescue puppy from Mexico named Mango. Tell us how Mango got to the bowl. Uh, we were really excited when Animal Planet called us and told us that they had seen a story about Diego and all the work that he was doing as a, as a kid rescuer, and they were interested in featuring one of our rescue pups, Mango, as their first international contender. Was so, he adopted? He was adopted. He was adopted on the set by one of the people that worked on the set. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so he's living a good life in New York City. New yeah. York City. <laughs> so let me ask you this. What's the adoption rate? What's the rate of adoption at the Puppy Bowl? All of the dogs that are at the Puppy Bowl are adopted. All? Yeah. Okay. And I think that's what's so great about it is that it gives a chance for people to see how wonderful rescue dogs, because I think there can be a, a stigma about shelter animals. But the Puppy Bowl is 100% rescue animals, and it gets to show how unique and wonderful they are, and they all get adopted. OK. Uh, you, you have something for me? We do have something for you. You want to give it to Diego? We have a jersey for you from the Puppy Bowl. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, I can wear that. Yeah, that'll <laughs> fit. Yeah. I like that. I appreciate that. Hey, look, but because of all the great work that you're doing, and I mean really doing some fantastic stuff, uh, to get more dogs adopted and, and into loving homes, the Pedigree Foundation 
uh, is giving you a $5,000 grant. Yeah. yeah. I think that'll be great. You guys are great. Hey, Diego, good job, man. There you go, buddy. Hey, folks, to learn more about the Pedigree Foundation and how you can support shelters like Compassion Without Borders, go to pedigreefoundation.org. If you're interested in adopting one of these puppies, log on to stevetv.com for more information.